Welcome back to Local 5 Live. You know, November is Diabetes Awareness Month. And did you know that people with diabetes are three to four times more likely to have chronic gum infections? And that can lead to even more problems. Green Bay Periodontist and Wisconsin Dental Association trustee Dr. Paula Crum is here to offer some help. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. I have to say, diabetes runs very strongly in my family. So mm -hmm. this is an important topic even mm -hmm. for me and my family. Talk to us about the dental health problems that people with diabetes seem to be most susceptible to, in your opinion. Well, diabetics don't fight off infection very well, yeah. and the mouth is just full of bacteria. So oftentimes, I've diagnosed patients with diabetes from infections in their mouth really? before they even knew they had the, the disorder or the condition. Um, yeah, they get a lot of gum bleeding, um, bad breath, um, the gums get swollen, mm -hmm. very inflamed, sore, and then that can lead to bone loss and eventual tooth loss even. And even dry mouth, and that can be a, become a, a health problem as well, right? Sure. Okay. Definitely. Let's talk about inflamed gums, and can they also have an effect on insulin and insulin resistance? Um, yes. It, the, the diabetes can cause inflammation in the gums, but the inflammation can also cause the um, patients to be less resistant to insulin, okay. so the diabetes can get worse. Okay. So they kind of go at each other both ways. So sure. talk to us about what we do then to combat this. If folks are watching from home, this is something that they, sh that they have an issue with diabetes. Uh, with the risk that comes with this, is there methods that they can do to help the process along? Well, with combating periodontal disease in, in general is brushing twice a day, uh -huh. um, flossing for sure also and seeing their dentist at a good regular interval to clean underneath the gums where they maybe can't get at on a daily basis eating healthy you know nutritious foods and staying away from the sugary things that diabetics shouldn't be eating anyway right so it's regular maintenance but people with diabetes really need to step it up a notch right because they're more at risk Oftentimes, we have to see them more often for cleanings, okay. and they just have to be really diligent with their home care. Do you find people with diabetes are aware of the effect of the disease on their mouth health? Because there's so many other things to think about as yeah, well with the are. disease. Right. I think s some of them are. Those that I think have been dealing with the disease for a length of time mm -hmm. are very aware. But certainly, some people are undiagnosed. A, a large number, I mean, I think they say almost a over 25% of the diabetics in the United States right now don't even know they have diabetes. Oh, yeah. okay. And so they may not be taking care of their oral health as well as they should be. Well, just another example of how your dentist can diagnose some other problems yeah. by looking so at true. your mouth. Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. Very good. All right, okay. Dr. Paula Crum, thank you so much for being here and answering these questions for us. You're we very welcome. It. Thank yeah. you. By the way, the Wisconsin Dental Association has lots of information, too, for you. You can subscribe to their quarterly newsletter at uh, wda.org. You can find a local dentist if you're looking for one. And at mouthhealthy.org, there's lots of good information for keeping a healthy mouth.